Okay, thank you, Sean. Okay, to our special uh, VIP guest, uh, Royal Master Yu Zhong Song, Mr. and Mrs. Yu Zhong Song, right? Our distinguished speakers, our Sharon Rose Masters, our center managers, our leaders, Atomians, and friends. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm very honored and privileged this morning again to uh, share the company introduction with uh, all of you. So my name is Jim Koo, I'm a diamond master. Uh, I've been in the Atomy business for about uh, two years now. So um, this, this two years journey for me has been most humbling and most exciting. So I'm glad that I have the opportunity now to share uh, the company introduction with all of you, all right? So let's quickly get started. Um, I think all of you agree that the online shopping trend is really like a tsunami, right? Do you agree? Yes? It's really happening very, very fast in the last 10 years. So let's look at some of the statistics here, right? Last year, Alibaba during November 11, racks in 35 billion in the single day sales. 35 billion in a single day sales. All through an internet shopping mall called Taobao. So it, it's already validating the trend that this internet online shopping business is growing gangbusters in the industry. Let's take a take look at a second uh, uh, before we do that. So this is a quotation from uh, uh, Jack Ma, who is the uh, CEO of uh, Atomy, uh, of, <laughs> of Alibaba. <laughs> and he says that... Uh, all right, if Alibaba cannot become a Microsoft of a Walmart, I will regret it for the rest of my life. All right, when he made these statements, he really meant that he really wants to be as big as the Microsoft of the world and, uh, and so on, and Walmart, who is a traditional uh, brick and mortar retail company, right? You all know it's one of the largest in the US. All right, the next one is Amazon, right? You know all Amazon.com, right? Uh, Amazon started many years ago in, back in the 90s, and they started off as an online bookstore, selling books online, and they literally killed Barnes & Noble. That was the only kind of brick-and-mortar bookshops in the United States. So if you look at uh, Amazon today, right? Their Q1 profit, this is the latest data uh, on April 28 uh, this year, in Q1, the company made a profit of $2 billion. And the entire Amazon business is based around the internet. We all know, right? Okay. They're now into many, many businesses. Not just on bookshops, but they sell you know, computers. They sell all kinds of uh, uh, products. And they also have a membership called Prime. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Amazon, Prime used to be $99 subscription a year. Because they've done so well, now they've raised Prime subscription to $119 a year. Why? Because the, the amount of uh, members that have come on board to join Amazon is just taking the company by storm. If you look at Amazon as a company, all right, the market capitalization, all right, the market capitalization is about $735 billion US dollar. They are only second to Apple Computers. Apple Computers has a market capitalization of 910 billion. All right. They have, Amazon has actually overtaken Microsoft. Microsoft market cap is about 638 billion US dollars. So now Amazon is now number two. And Jeff Bezos, who is the chairman CEO of Amazon.com, is now the richest man in the world. He has taken over Bill Gates of Microsoft. So watch this company, right? The prediction is that uh, Amazon is going to become a $1 trillion company in the next five years. They may even overtake Apple. So, and the entire business model of Amazon is based on the internet, right? So... These are all validations that the internet online shopping trend 
is really growing very, very, very fast. And Atomy being an online shopping mall is also riding that same wave. All right. So we are definitely on the right trend as a company, all right, riding the online shopping mall, uh, online shopping uh, trend. If you look at uh, another news, huh? uh, the US retailers are going bankrupt at record price, uh, pace. Many, many retailers now are losing money. It's no longer a fashion or a trend for people to walk into a retail store and buy products or buy services. All right. So many companies in the US, and you can read some of the, the notes at the bottom here. I, my eyesight is so bad that I can't even read. Uh, but if you can read for yourself, uh, okay, that's better. Thank you. All right. America's retailers are closing shops faster than ever as they try to eliminate a glut of space. Right. This is really what's, what's happening. The trend will continue for the foreseeable future. Even in our home ground in Singapore, many, many retailers are now closing shop. As you go to the shopping mall, you can see for yourself. All right? You know, shops are closing. Why? Because rentals are going up. Singapore has become a very, very expensive place all right, to run or start a retail business. Toys R Us, you heard the news recently, considered bankruptcy. And Lego just cut 1,400 jobs because more and more people are buying products online, buying toys online. Okay. Black Friday, which is a very popular a, 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 a scheme in the United States that every Friday, people literally queue in front of the shopping mall just to buy products at discount rates. Right? People are no longer queuing in front of those retail malls anymore. Why? Because people are buying deals online. All right? You don't have to physically be in the store now to buy products anymore. Okay? So this trend is already showing in the marketplace. And here in the home ground, all right, Singapore is doing the same thing. All right? uh, recently, you know, last year, August, DBS partnered with SG Car Mark to sell cars online. All right? Even the banks are partnering uh, companies to sell products online. Okay? And the online shopping is growing so fast that local logistic companies cannot cope with delivery. Right? It's a huge, huge uh, thing that is happening now. And this is the value of the Singapore e-commerce uh, prediction. Right? The market in 2016 was, 18 uh, was 1 billion, representing a 2.1 uh, increase of all the retail spend. And our Singapore government has forecasted 10% growth by 2020. All right? So this whole industry is happening not just in the US, in Europe, in the whole of Asia Pacific, including Singapore. So this is another prediction all right, by a very famous futurist called Thomas Frey. He says that by the year 2030, all right, 2 billion jobs will disappear. All right? We all know that the trend is not only in the online shopping mall, but there is this new technological advancement called artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning. All these technological revolutions are replacing jobs. All right? So we all know right, the, some manufacturing companies all right, are already manufacturing products without a single human being on the shop floor. All right? I watched a video very recently of a company, I don't know whether it's uh, in Japan or in Taiwan, where they produce this bian tang, uh, this, this uh, packet food, all right? And it's all done without a single human being in the factory. It's so scary, right? They boil rice, they cook meat, they cook vegetables, and it's all pre-packed, all done by robots, all right? So the entire factory has not a single human being. So we all know that this is the trend. Many, many jobs is going to be lost in the coming 10, 20 years. The other thing is uh, a, a very famous uh, venture capitalist, his name is Vinod Koshla. He says that big data will replace 80% of doctors, okay? Because of the amount and the ability of companies to collect data information, all right? Many, many general practitioners, all right? Doctors, simple uh, doctors that you visit in your, 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 your home ground or your, uh, 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 your, your estate, all right? all these doctors' jobs will be replaced because you don't really need doctors to prescribe medicine anymore. All right? 
the computer is so intelligent that they can learn from the doctors and now can prescribe drugs even better and more accurate than the doctors. So these are trends that are already happening around the world. So let's look at change, right? I mean, Philip talked about change earlier, right? Change is inevitable, right? Change is constant. Things are changing every day. And we really need to make sure that we adapt ourselves to those changes. So let's now take a look at uh, the income distributions of developed societies. As a country progress, as a country become more and more developed, all right, people's income will increase, correct? Look at Singapore, you know, 30 years ago or 40 years ago, and look at Singapore today, all right? We are already a developed nation, all right? And if you look at the income distributions of the people, the working class people, you have the poor, the middle class, and the rich, right? In fact, almost every one of us, all right, is in that middle patch, which is the middle class, all right? That's the largest number of people, all right, in the work uh, industry today, all right, or in society today. And this is a curve that, is, that applies not just to Singapore, but to every single developing countries, all right? where the majority of the populations are sitting in that patch called the middle class. Okay? So let's take a look at what's happening to the middle class, uh, which, is, which applies to every one of us, because we are all right smack in the middle of that patch. Right? And things are happening to every single one of us today. And there's a concept called the M-shaped society. Right? And the idea of the M-shaped society written here was first coined by a management guru called Dr. Kenichi Omeya. Right? Dr. Kenichi Omeya described the gradual decline of the Japanese middle class in the post-boom years. Remember, during the post-war, Second World War, Japanese had to reinvent themselves to be competitive in the marketplace. All right? So they started many, many industries, big names like Sony, Matsushita, Sumitomo, all right? Those, uh, those, those big corporations or conglomerate all right, started to reinvent themselves and make Japan a very, very competitive economic nation. Right? At one stage in the 70s, 80s, Japan was right up there, right? second to the United States in terms of the economic power. Okay? But as the country developed, as more and more middle class like us become more and more affluent, more and more successful, more and more rich, because of income have uh, grown over the years, all right? So things become to be expensive. Manufacturing becomes expensive. Job becomes very, very costly. Employee salary becomes very, very high. And they start and soon to lose their competitiveness, all right? So the entire middle class, if you look at the bell curve, is now being squeezed down, all right, from the top. Right, into and pushed down into the left side, which is the poor and the rich. Obviously, many people end up being poor because you know people have got cars to pay, home to pay, uh, children to send to universities. Cost of living is very high. Even in, for example, in Japan, right, a home has to be financed over three generations compared to Singapore. Okay, so the concept of the M ship society started be to happen. And this is not only happening in Japan. If you look at today in Taiwan, in Hong Kong, in Japan, in Korea, in Singapore, all right, we are going through the same phenomena, right? exactly the same phenomena. And if you look at the societal change, right, we used to be in the middle class, right? Well, it's the middle patch there. Uh, if you can see this, uh, where's my pointer? All right, the middle class here, all right? We are all being squeezed all right, by society, by changes in the industry. We lost our job, we, we retire without any money left. So we are all under a lot of pressure. All right? So our life, all right, our household, our family, our personal life, our lifestyle has to change because we, act, we all got squeezed down right to the bottom. And it happened to me because in 2012, when I lost my job in the corporate world, all right, I used to be a well-to-do middle class, right at the top, all right? And I was being squeezed down when I lost my job in 2012. I completely lost my income and completely lost my uh, ability to earn money. Because when you lose your job, you lose everything, right? 
your income just drops to zero when you lose your job. All right? And many people have go, are, in fact, in the midst of going through that process. Okay? I don't know how many of you here who still are working in a job. All right? One fine day, potentially, your job will be replaced, not only by younger people, but robots and so on and so forth. So we have to be very aware of this phenomena. That's going to happen to every one of us. All right? So we are all being squeezed down to the bottom, and the only way out is either you end up on the left, which is your left, uh, being poor, or you, if you're smart enough, you find another job, you start a business, and your business becomes profitable, you may be the lucky one that you end up on the right side of the M curve. So this is a very scary thing. All right? If I would say that 90, 80% of the people will probably end up on the poor side. All right? Because the market is changing. And if you don't change your mindset, you don't change your attitude, all right? and start to rethink what you're supposed to do when this happened to you. All right? When I lost my job, I didn't have a contingency plan. I didn't have a second job because I thought I would be working for corporate America for the rest of my life. All right? Good pay, nice hotel, uh, every time I travel, business class and so on. But when it happened to you, when it happened to me, all right, my whole life, my home, my lifestyle has to change. All right? And when I started to start my own uh, company, all right, in 2014 and close to the middle of 2015, I almost went bankrupt. All right? When you are in those situations, you knew that you're going to start falling into the poor side of the M curve. All right? And it's very, very tough. All right? Because when you run a business, there's a lot of costs involved. You hire people, you rent office space, you got rental to pay, CPF to pay, salary to pay. There's a lot of stuff that you've got to worry about. Okay? So I'm glad that I found Atomy in 2015 December, and that actually changed my life. So the questions I want to ask you, all of you here, is where are you standing now? Ask yourself that question. You don't have to tell me. All right, where are you now? All right. I want you to rethink about yourself and what you want to do for the rest of your 20 years, 30 years, or 40 years of your life. All right. Rethink. All right. Don't let changes change your life. And when you don't have a contingency plan, all right, it's a very, very scary feeling. Really scary. All right. So... I call it the middle class crisis. All of us are going through that at some point in our life. And there's a new term. They say the middle class is now becoming the new poor. Yeah, <laughs> you're becoming a new poor. Because when you, don't in, when you don't have income, when you don't have an alternative, all right, all your savings that you have right, will be burning every month. Right, your cash will be burning every month. At some point, right, you will become the new poor. So I hope none of us here, the fact that you're here this morning attending the Atomy sessions or Atomy Success Academy means there is a light of hope for all of you. Right? Let's give Atomy a big round of applause. So when you're in these situations, we are all struggling, right? We are drowning, right? Save our soul. The guys who are more capable can find a job or find an alternative to their income stream, right? Can probably survive better than you, right? But I can guarantee you 80% of us is going to suffer. We're drowning, not knowing what to do, right? So is there a way out of this crisis? Yes, I'm glad that there is a way out of this crisis, right? It's atomy. Atomy can become your life boy, can become your saving grace as an alternative all right, to help you tie yourself when you get into a situation like what I went through. So, Atomy is a no-risk business, no joining fee, no website fee, no compulsory monthly purchase. All right, becoming, you just have to become a consumer and love Atomy products. Share your experience to word of mouth and sign up new members. That's all you have to do. A very, very simple business model. Okay? So all you have to do is share your experience and just simply 
talk. All right? They say, no talk, no PV. No PV, no money. No money, sure mati. All right? So you need to talk. When you join the Atomy business, all they want for you to do is just to share about your personal experience and the benefits that you receive from Atomy. Okay. So, and then you can start to earn a passive income. So this is a quotation from Mr. Park, our CEO. He says, you need to have the courage all right, to face this change. All right? I hope you are not only focused on your success, but also help others around you achieve success and move forward together. All right? The Atomy business is a teamwork business. All right? You are not only building success for yourself, but you're also building success for all your downlines that join you in the business. So who is Atomy? This is now the uh, company introduction. <laughs> All right? So Atomy, um, very simple. We are a network marketing company. And when Mark, uh, Mr. Park Han Gil uh, created a company back in 2009, he was trying to address the huge negativity of network marketing in the industry. All right? There's a lot of negative uh, connotations and people are saying, you know, MLM company, network marketing is taboo, right? Nobody wants to join because the reputation is so bad. And he wanted to change the people's perceptions and people's concept of network marketing. That's why he created Atomy, okay? And at that time in 2000, uh, not, not 2009, in fact, today in Korea, the legal market is about a $5.9 billion market for the MLM business, all right? And when he started the company, he was trying to rationalize the distribution industry, all right? As we move into the different sector of the economy, all right, especially for developed countries, right, uh, we are into this uh, third sector, which is called the, um, uh, the, the, the sector where people are creating jobs and businesses in the distribution sector versus the manufacturing and the mining and the early days of uh, agricultural. So he wanted to create a business around the distribution business so that every single one of us has the opportunity to join him, all right, to start this business together. And with the improvement of product quality and also to ensure that there is market, uh, active market participation for every single member that come into the bandwagon of Atomy, all right. And the solution that he was trying to create was really to help the baby boomers. The baby boomers are our father's who have over the years worked very hard and because of the, the technological and industrial revolution, all right, a lot of people became uh, unable to cope with the changes and the whole idea of the Atomy business is to help these people and also to help the retirement folks all right, who are retiring at 60s, at 70s and not having the ability to sustain their lifestyle and have to find an alternative. And unemployed youth, which uh, is also one of his target audience, and many, many more, housewife, uh, bankrupt uh, individuals, and so on. So that was the purpose of the vision of network uh, marketing by Atomy. If you look at the three-sector economy theory, I talk about you know, the, the primary sector, the secondary sector, and the tertiary sector. Uh, if you look at the per capita income of the uh, uh, lower-cost country, a less developed country, most of their income or, 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 or output, all right, or the income generation, it comes from mining, fishing, and agriculture, all right. If you look at the middle income nation, all right, a lot of their income generation comes from the manufacturing sector, all right. And as you move to the more higher income, more developed nations, all right, they start moving into the tertiary sector, which is the financial services, logistics, and the distribution business, all right. If you look at countries like London, Japan, right, financial service is way up at the top, okay? Because those are the areas that the people who are more knowledgeable, more intelligent, more well-educated can participate in those uh, sectors. But Mr. Park felt very strongly that to get into the financial services space and logic space requires lots of intelligence, knowledge, and experience. And he decided to focus on the distribution business, which is simple, more straightforward, and that every single every single one of us has the ability to participate in that sector, okay? So, if you look at the um, uh, 
Korean MLM market, it's a $5.9 Singapore billion dollar market. And if you look at the growth of the market over the last five years, right, it started off as a $3.8 billion market. And today, it's about $5.9 billion, right? And the total number of distributors in the MLM business has increased by 4.1% from the previous year. So there are about 10.3 billion, a million people who are involved in the network marketing business, uh, business in Korea. And if you look at uh, Atomy in the last uh, uh, few years, in 2015, all right, uh, this is Korean dollars. Uh, Atomy has uh, uh, kind of caught up with a lot of many very traditional old MLM names like uh, what uh, you have um, New Skin, you get Herbalife, right? So now Atomy is now very strong in second position only to uh, Mway. So we are very fortunate, all right? Being an only nine-year-old company, all right, the Atomy has started way back in the 20 uh, over positions and now at position number two in the Korean market. What does it tell us? It tells us that this company is really growing very, very, very fast. If you look at the uh, global revenue, uh, last year our company clocked about 1.3 billion Sing dollar of revenue. Right? That's eight years of business. And if you look at companies like Herbalife, you look at New Skin, it took them 30 maybe 25, 30 years to clock the $1 billion mark, all right? Atomy is only eight euro company, they already reached the $1 billion mark, all right? You look at Mway, they are 60 euro company, all right? Their revenue today is only 8.95 billion US dollar. Do you think Atomy can be a $20 billion company in the next 10 years? Absolutely, all right? We became 1 billion in less than 10 years, all right? And our products portfolio is not even the range of Amway or the range of all these other companies yet. Can you imagine when you have 100,000 products sitting in our shopping mall, we will definitely be a $20 billion company in the next 10 years. I'm very, very confident. And because Atemi is only in what? 10 countries now, uh, excluding Korea, all right? So this company is growing very, very fast. If you look at the data alone, uh, we are growing on a compound annual growth rate of approximately 20 to 30 percent a year. Right? That's our growth. And recently, uh, last year in August, uh, our CEO was featured on the front cover of Fortune magazine. We are also featured by CNBC Korea. There's a 15 minute uh, video clip that uh, CNBC featured Atomy without Atomy paying a single cent. So, what does these two pieces of information tell us? Right? Big names like Fortune, big names like CNBC, it simply means that our business, the Atomy business is being legitimized by these two different companies. So as a business builder, as a member of Atomy, you, have, you can be very, very confident that we are a bona fide company. We are a company that is highly reputable and highly accepted and highly recognized by the marketplace. Right. There is no one single MLM company CEO that was featured on the Fortune magazine. And we are very fortunate, right? the first MLM company with a CEO featured on the Fortune magazine. Right? We have a full article inside the magazine as well. So this is good news for all of us. So let's give Atomy another big round of applause. <laughs> so what, form, what, what forms the Atomy company? Right? Uh, we have two very strategic partnerships. Uh, one is Cary. Cary is a Korean Atomic uh, Energy Research Institute. They are like the NASA of Korea. Okay? Uh, they have 1,300 PhD professors doing research and development. A lot of our products uh, are leveraging technology coming out from the Cary uh, Institution, which is a government agency. The other entity is a company called Coma. Coma is a US-based company. They are about a 100-year-old company and they've been involved in uh, OEM and ODM uh, work, all right? so they manufacture for their clients all right? in the area of uh, beauty, health, as well as pharmaceutical. Okay? So Coma and Kerry came, came together and formed a joint entity, which is a public listed company called Coma B&H. B&H stands for beauty and health. All right? So Coma B&H actually produce the majority of the products that reaches our home. 
Okay, so they are a strategic partner of Atomy. Atomy is the sales and marketing, exclusive sales and marketing uh, partner for Coma B and H. Right? And for those of you who have uh, visited Coma uh, in Korea, would uh, understand what I'm saying because they are really a very, very big name in this part of the world. And our products are all based on the concept of a mastic strategy, which means that our products are of absolute quality or premium quality at very low absolute price. And when the company started in 2009, all right, they only had two products, all right, the Hemohim, which is our health supplement, and our skincare called the Skincare 6 system. And up to today, these two products are still our top sellers, okay? despite the fact that we have now over 300 over products on our platform. And one of the products inside our Skincare 6 system is the Essence product. All right? There was a blind test done in Korea where many, many um, uh, people were, blind, were blindfolded and they tested all the various Essence products from many, many other companies. Right. Atomy obviously came up tops. All right. Those products were, were, were costing between 100 to 200 US dollar per bottle. And our product came up tops. And you know how much is our essence product? 23 Sing dollars. 23 Sing dollars. And we received a very prestigious award from the Korean Education and Technology uh, Ministry. And the award is called the Jang Yong Shil Award. Okay. So we are very, very proud that a company that adds me is able to deliver a product to our customers of premium quality but at absolutely low price. Okay, um, and last year in November, all right, our one of our greatest product that was uh, being created was the Absolute 6 set. And how many of you here are already using the Absolute 6 set? Can I have a show of hands? Not enough. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that's better. This product is simply amazing. All right, simply, simply amazing. This is not a product session, so I'm not going to cover more. But just look at the, the, the product when it was launched uh, last November. We sold $64 million worth of this product. And 280,000 sets were sold all right, in, at the launch. So you can imagine how powerful and how, how good this product is. All right. Talk to your sponsors, talk to your, 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 your uh, upline more about this product. And then our toothpaste is also a very top seller. In 2016, we sold 25 million all right, toothbrushes around the world. It was a big time uh, you know, uh, sales record. And we are also very proud to say that our return rate is only 0.14% compared to the uh, market uh, industry for MLM company which is about 2.59%. When I remember I joined Atomy in uh, late 2015, our return rate was 0.19%. We have now further reduced our return rate to 0.14%. Why? Because Atomy is so confident of the quality of our products. And our marketing plan is very simple. It's based on a my dream model. All right? uh, there's no joining fee, no maintenance fee. Uh, a very, very balanced distribution model where you have the ability to earn a lot of money, but it's being limited all right, by the company, right, which is a good news. And your future income is also inheritable to your children and your grandchildren. As a lawyer, as a doctor, you cannot pass down your profession to your children, right? All right. In Atomy, you can create all right, an inheritable profession for yourself, and yet you can pass on that income and the profession to your children and your grandchildren. In terms of our success system, it's all based around education. You are here today because you're attending the Success Academy. There are two very important education platforms that you should always make sure that you participate. One is the Lifestyle Centers. We have four Lifestyle Centers in Singapore now. All right? They conduct weekly classes where you can go and attend. And then there's the one-day seminar that happens twice a month, one in English and one in Mandarin, and obviously the Success Academy and an opportunity for you to also attend some global seminar in Korea, for example. So this is an example of a global seminar all right, in Korea where many, many people fly into Seoul all right, or into South Korea and attend all these global seminars, which is a humongous motivation for all of us. 
And these are some of the success that coming happening uh, all around the world. And what's the academy culture? Very simple. You heard the video early this morning. The culture is all based around integrity and honesty. Okay, we all operate with that uh, principle-driven culture. The other culture is the culture of a company growth, where as the company grow, all right, the customers grow with the company, the partners grow with the company, and we all believe in sharing, all right, in the community by paying forward. This is an example of uh, some of the uh, charity as well as social activities that was happening all around the globe, all right, conducted by the company. This is the third culture, which is the culture of sharing. And the more important thing now is that in the last one or two years, Atomy is now getting into this global sourcing, global sales product sourcing strategy. 80% or 90% of the product used to be sourced from Korea for the last probably uh, seven or eight years. Of late, the company is now looking at sourcing premium quality products from countries and start to bring those products onto our shopping mall, like Japan, Taiwan. We all know a lot of the products are coming from Taiwan, right? Our Jingyu Tiepu, our Oil Patch, our um, you know, sandwich level and so on. Right? Stockings are coming from Japan. Our pepper is coming from Cambodia. So our coconut water is coming from Vietnam. So the company is now going around the world sourcing for premium good quality products to put on our shopping mall platform through the GSGS strategy. And if you look at um, the growth of the company outside of Korea, right, we have today about 1.4 billion million global members in 10 countries in Atomy. And we all know that this year we're going to have Vietnam, Indonesia, and Australia. And next year we're going to have Russia, Hong Kong, and China. All right. So that 1.4 million global member is going to start multiplying very, very fast in the next two years. All right, we also received many, many awards in Korea for being one of the largest manufacturers that export products outside the country. You see all the accolades uh, on the right-hand side, which is the uh, you know, 5 million export award and so on and so forth. Our latest one is the 15 milli 50 million export uh, award from the Korean government. All right, and what I want to say here is that Atomy is creating a cost and effect in the marketplace. The cost is because Atomy is really changing the rules and rewriting the history of network marketing. Right? The effect it is creating is that we are leading the distribution, transformation, and growth around the world. Right? And as you, you throw the Atomy stone into the water, Atomy is creating a huge ripple effect. Right? And the ripple effect is dragging the partners, the, 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 the suppliers, the customers, the builders together with the company, right? So we are all going to grow with Atomy as the ripple effect of Atomy is growing bigger and bigger over time, right? So you can be rest assured that we are joining a company where we are all going to be enjoy, all right, the success together with the company. And the last slide I have for you is the company is Atomy has created a revolutionary distribution system that can change your life forever. So with that, thank you for your attention. I want to wish all our Atomians and French huge, huge success with Atomy. Thank you.